Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jackson here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a how-to video on how I make my U-part wigs using the bonding glue method. This is a very easy and quick method for those of you who are looking for a quick hairstyle for the weekend. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The hair that I'll be using is really affordable. You guys can get it from your local beauty supply store. This is Outre's Velvet Natural Yaki. They actually have three different textures to choose from. But I love this one because this one is like closest to my natural texture but if you have a coarser texture they have that as well so just for reference so you guys can see the difference in textures this is what the hair normally would look like this is their silky but I'll be using the yakky texture for this look so we're gonna go ahead and get started with using a dome cap um, I just highly recommend using a dome cap and not a spandex cap or a um, stocking cap use a spandex dome cap it's just going to wrap around your head a lot nicer and it's going to stretch very well allowing you to wear it with comfort so the first thing that I'm going to do is just create my little anchor points where I want my U part to start I'm using my mannequins uh, inner tear duct as a guide Guide. Um, and I'm also going to create an anchor point for where the U part is going to stop. Just putting little dots there so I can see exactly where my U part is going to be. And then I'm going to work around that to make my wig. Alright, so before I get started completely, I am going to pull the spandex dome cap up a little bit because you want to make sure that you're working with a flat surface, especially working with bonding glue because it takes a little bit longer for it to adhere to the spandex dome cap. Alright, so this part really isn't necessary, but I'm just going to cut everything open so you guys can see what it looks like straight out of the pack. And I don't wash this hair. This hair isn't necessary to wash. It's just like a quick weave type of hair that I would use. Alright, so the first thing to do is to just measure where you want your, your first weft to go. So I like to start at the very, very nape of the neck. And then um, I'll just, you know, create a guide. And then I'll cut where it's supposed to be cut using just some basic shears all right next up using my bonding glue this is their 30 second you can get this from your local beauty supply store I'm sure you guys have seen this before but I'm just going to apply uh, a generous amount but not too much of the bonding glue from end to end I'm going to apply the bonding glue and what I actually like to do is to kind of let it sit a little bit think of it like you would if you were to apply eyelashes you would let it sit and then you would apply you're going to do the same thing there and try to line it up exactly where you had it before I like to take my two fingers and just kind of let you know use it as pressure to let it sit and then once it sits there for a little while it's perfectly fine okay so I'm gonna speed up this process and let you guys continue to see it this is really repetitive so literally you're just going to measure around the circumference of your mannequin head and continue to do the same steps over and over and over again until we reach uh, like the crown area of the spandex dome cap Okay, so once we get closer to the crown of the head, I am now going to start to really pay attention to where I place the wefts because I want to make sure that everything lays nice and flat. Um, I like to just use the rivet part of the spandex dome cap as a guide to where I want my next set of wefts to go. So from one end to the other, I'm just going to measure it and then cut it. But I'm not going to place it anywhere near where the actual like guideline is for my U part, if that makes sense. You'll better understand just watching, but I like to do this again to make sure everything lays nice and flat.
Okay, so these next set of steps is going to actually start to close the U part. So what I'm doing now is uh, changing the pattern of the way that I lay my wefts. And again, I'm doing this to make sure that it lays naturally um, against my hairline, but also it lays flat. That's going to be imperative in any type of style that you do. Using my original anchor point as a guideline, I'm going to place my weft right at the beginning of the spandex dome cap. And then I'm just going to continue to wrap the weft around the um, the mannequin's head, just like I did before. Only this time I'm making it a uh, a point to kind of go with the natural flow of the head. So I'm going up around, it's like up around and then up and down again. You guys will see it. But again, this is just going to make sure that everything lays nice and flat and you don't create any bulk bulkiness at the top of the head. This is going to ensure that the U part blends very nicely with your natural hair. finish this step at least twice more just to make sure I don't have any gaping or open areas and then I'm going to finish by filling in the rest of the wig. So now it's time to finish this wig off. So again, I'm changing the pattern of how I lay my wefts and this is going to ensure that everything lays nice and flat and naturally. So I'm taking the same process as I did when I started making the wig. I'm just going to measure, cut, use the bonding glue and then place it on the spandex dome cap. I'm going to do the same process over and over again until I reach that anchor point that you see right at the top of the head. This is going to let me know when I need to stop and where my natural hair will begin when I start to work with my real hair with the U-part wig. so here's the final results of making this wig can you see how flat the unit looks this is exactly what you're going for when making this unit I do recommend if you're going to use my bonding glue method to make sure that you allow the wig to sit overnight and completely dry this is going to make sure that you don't have any slippage alright so here is the final look after you're done styling if you're looking for a styling video with the U part wig I actually have a very recent video for that so I'm going to place the link down in the description bar for you guys to check out below. If you found this video helpful, please share. Love you guys so much. Peace out.